campsite number 48. Or 49, I can't remember exactly. I'm right here outside the road. We're on uh, State Road 62. We're drinking some Jumex Nango Jug Nectar. We're not on 62. Mm. We're on some side road. Oh, side road? That's right, we turned off in the dark, huh? Um, but it was flat, it was straight up, it was surrounded by blackberry bushes. There was a horse that came down here to the gate last night and sniffed us and tapped the ground a couple of times. There was a little Freddy Cat dog over here across the street. As you can see, we're that close. We're that close right here to the road, right? Um, these seem to be one of our favorite kind of campsites, just a little piece of pavement on the side of the road that's flat. Right, we could you know, lay, our, lay down our, one of our tarps and put down our mats and our bags, put our bags and stuff over there farthest away from the road and just lay here at the, and look at the stars and talk with our phones and play with, you know, play bullshit and you know, talk about the things that we did during the day. Um, today we're heading... Hey, hold on, before we get into the day, why don't you tell them about the, uh, the galaxy and the clouds and shit. Oh, actually last night the stars, that shit was awesome. I was, I was laying there, I was, I was looking, I was reviewing the pictures of the other day on my phone, and Anonymous just tapped me on the shoulder, and I leaned over and looked over at him, and, and he just pointed straight up, and I'm like, huh, and I looked up, and it was like, holy fuck, I hadn't seen that many stars in so long, it was like, it was like, like, like a cloud, like you, 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 it was like I was looking through the arm of the, the spiral galaxy that we live in, and it was like a cloud just full of stars. And it's pretty impressive, you could see that with the bright ass moon right there. Right there, and then the moon rose, yeah, and boom, bing, bang, boom, and then Venus was there, and then Jupiter, and Saturn, and then, and then, I was like, whoa, I was awestruck, so I had to actually like peel myself away from it, and go back to what I was doing, and then a few minutes later, he taps me again. It points straight up, and I looked up again, and this time there was a whole different cloud that had drifted by with a whole different... Oh, it was, man, it was so fucking cool. But here's the cool part. Here's the part I forgot to tell you. When we were leaving Medford, and we were driving up, when we were driving up 62, we stopped right there, and, and, and he was looking, none of us was looking, had this weird look on his face, he was looking out there, and I'm like, what the fuck is he looking at? Because from the angle where I was, I couldn't see it. And we rode a little bit farther. We stopped again, and he pointed. He goes, look. And I said, I looked right over where he's pointing. He goes, looks like a giant question mark floating in the air, doesn't it? I said, it was. It was a cloud shape, like a question mark. It was fucking cool. Right, but anyways, we're going to be riding up this way uh, to Crater Lake. We're going to, you know, we're going to take it. We're going on the advice of Princess Pepper. So we're going to go up here. And a couple other people, one of the local townies, told us to, to, that the lake is the most awesome part of this whole part of the country. So we're going to go up there. We're going to do that. And one of your subscribers, when we asked them where we should go in Oregon, they said this is one of the places they'd like to see. They'd like to see Crater Lake. So that's what we're going to do. Here, I'm going to kick the cap on. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Uh, Jumex, mango nectar. Right. It's just good. So this is me, Brian, and Anonymous. Right. Here we go. Thank you.